we can provide something called options for our products. Options give customers the opportunity to specify certain things about their order. For example, if we were selling clothing, maybe we would want to provide a monogram option where shoppers can send us the initials that they would like to be sewn onto a shirt, for instance, that they're ordering. Let's click Lollipop. We can access product options from this options tab on our product. And let's give our customers the option to order our lollipops gift wrapped. To add a new option, as you can probably guess, we will click add new option and we need to give this a title. We'll simply call it gift wrap. And then we need to select an input type. In other words, this is the way we expect to receive this information from our customer regarding whether they want it to be gift wrapped. Let's take a look at these options that we have here. The first is a drop down list. That's simply the type of option list that you see right here. It's presented in such a way that you click on a drop down arrow and then you get a box with a list of options and you select one. Radio buttons accomplishes essentially the same thing, but instead of being presented in this fashion, they're all listed with a circle next to each option that you can click and you can choose one and only one, just like with a drop down list. Checkboxes is similar to radio buttons, but you can select more than one option using checkboxes, whereas with radio buttons, you can only select one. A text field is a small text input area. Text area is a larger text input area. Date picker is just what it sounds like. It essentially presents you with a calendar and you select a date from it. And if your account level allows you to upload files, then this lets the customer send you a file along with their order. Maybe it would be an image that you might need for whatever reason to fulfill their order. For gift wrap, we're gonna choose radio buttons as our input type. And notice here we can check this if we want to require the customer to provide some information regarding this. Don't ever do this unless you have to have this information to complete the customer's order. So we're gonna leave this unselected. And then we're gonna click add new selection. These are essentially the answers that the customer can give us when we're using discrete input types such as radio buttons. So for instance, for gift wrap, our first selection is going to be no. In other words, no, they do not want it gift wrapped. We'll talk about the rest of these things in just a second with our next selection. Let's click add new selection. And as you can probably guess, this one is going to be yes. Now we can add a price modifier to any selection that the customer makes. We can have this price modifier add to the price or detract from the price. In this case, we'll choose add. We can add as a flat rate in which we would select the dollar sign or as a percentage of the price of the product, in which case we would select the percentage sign. Let's say that we want to add a flat rate of $1 if someone wants their product to be gift wrapped. And if they say no, we're not going to modify the price at all. We want to also select the default option. So in our case, we're gonna assume that most customers probably do not want their orders gift wrapped. So we will select no as the default. And if we ever put in a selection that we want to remove for whatever reason, then we would simply delete it by clicking on the trash can symbol. Now we're not done yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and click save so we don't lose any of this. We're gonna add two more options. Let's click add new option. This one is going to be gift message. And this is where we're going to allow the customer to type a message for the recipient of this product, assuming it's a gift for someone else. So for this, we're gonna choose text area because this might be a longer piece of input than something that would necessitate a text field. And we don't want to make this required. And notice we don't have any selection options here because this is purely wide open. They're simply going to be presented with a large text box and they type in whatever they want. So we're done with gift message. We're gonna add one more. Let's say for the sake of demonstration, we want to provide them with the option to specify a preferred shipping date. So we'll type preferred shipping date here. And as you can probably guess, our input type for this one is going to be date picker. And we're not gonna let this one be required either. Let's save once again. 
And now we'll click preview product to see how this is gonna look differently to customers. So we have our image and everything, our price, our product title, and now we have some other information that the customer might give us. They can select yes if they want it gift wrapped and notice that it alerts them that it's gonna be an extra dollar and it in fact changes the price on the fly if you select that. They can type in a gift message here. And here, preferred shipping date, they can select a date that they want to be shipped on. And then we have the usual product details and add to bag option, etc. Very good, we have now added our first set of options to one of our products.